Welcome to the Pines. My name's Alyssa and we're gonna do a thrift haul together. I love watching other people's thrift hauls and so I wanted to show my thrift haul with you guys. This is a haul. This is probably like the last year to six months worth of hauls that I'm gonna show you guys. Inspired by my weekend of thrifting. So I got some new items, but some of it is not new. I got some comments on my last video asking me where I got my coffee mug from and it's a thrift find. Let me show you guys my coffee mug. So cute. There's a set of two. My mom actually bought them for me because I was unsure if I should get them or not. She was like, just get them. They're like two bucks a pop. So super cool. Very rustic and woodland as you were about to tell. That is totally my decor style is vintage, rustic, cabin, woodland theme, camping style. Um, I have coffee in this one. Thank you, mom. They're like my favorite mug now. I ended up getting this apron. Very vintage. I haven't seen a brown one in this style. It's like, I don't know what it's called, but it's, you very often see it in red and white. And I always think of like a farm style apron when I see the red one. But brown is definitely one of my favorite colors. I like the neutral colors. So this, this one was like six bucks. Thrifted vintage books make such good decorations and they you can use them all sorts of ways. But you can stack them up and put cute things on top or just stack them up as is. They, are, they have such beautiful like designs on them. Move on. I've had this for a little bit. I think I paid like $2 for it, not even. This had vintage recipes in here, old clippings from magazines and newspapers and handwritten grandma notes. Um, and there's also some preloaded like recipe cards in here. Loved the pattern. Um, and it was really cool to have that little bit of history with all the old recipes and old cooking styles and stuff like that. So adorable for super cheap. I love camping, like vintage camping gear, along with like vintage summer camp style. I know that's kind of random, but I just love it. Um, so I got this, it's glass. It's supposed to look like enamel, like spackled, like metal campware. I've used it for flowers. I spent like $5 on this. Very, very cute. I have so many of these, but I wanted to show you guys. I get these at like vintage stores. They're antlers, deer antlers. Usually they're kind of expensive, um, but I use them as decorating pieces all over my house. I spent like $10 on a big box of these and they're all really nice sized antlers too. All right, this broom I got over the weekend. My daughter likes to call it the witch's broom. I just thought it was super cute. Handcrafted. I'm probably gonna hang it up in my laundry room. And I've already used it, like it gets really good into in the corners and along the baseboards and stuff of the house. Like, very, very cute. It's got these like wooden knobs. I don't know, I spent $1.50. This was half off, the only one had three bucks to begin with, but $1.50, I was like, okay, come on. So awesome. This I've had for a while, I think I spent like maybe a dollar or two on it. Cute cross, add some height on uh, my shelves and stuff. I'm not. A design expert but you want different heights <laughs> when you're decorating <laughs> this I actually didn't buy the first time I saw it at Goodwill and then went back a few days later and saw it that it was still there and I'm like mm, okay just buy it it was $3.99 it was half off so I got it for two bucks and it's hand painted the person who originally painted it signed the back and dated it 1987 and it's a really cute woodland raccoon. For $2, like, this might not be your style, but it's definitely mine. Okay, if you're from Wisconsin, you're gonna know that a lot of people like to decorate with dead things around here, and I am no exception. I got this at Goodwill for $3.99, and I couldn't pass it up, because usually mounts are relatively expensive. I mean, it's not in the best condition, but I kind of like it like that. It's old, vintage, 
You can go wrong with mounts though. Sometimes like an old buck mount can start to like deteriorate in the face and it looks creepy. If you like that look, go for it. But I like the not creepy look. I keep it by my fireplace in my living room. I just like it. I've caught plenty of, what is that, a perch and a bluegill? But yeah, you never know what Goodwill is gonna have. Um, some pictures in the back here, Goodwill finds. Each one was $2.99, I think they were half off. Fox and the Hound, really cute. I love it. I bought this, it was $14.99, but it was half off. And I have another one. But these are usually relatively expensive, these paintings, and they're pretty popular by us in Wisconsin. I'm sure other people have seen them too. This one I spent $5 on. Cute. I spent like $7 on this. It's a cute little duck pitcher. I love it for flowers. I keep brushes in here by the sink. I used it once for Thanksgiving for gravy, and it looked like the duck was throwing up on everything. So I'm not gonna do that again, or I will. One of the <laughs> I love ducks. I decorate with ducks all the time. I couldn't pass this one up. Let's stay on the duck train here. This I got, I think I probably spent like $15 on this one at a vintage mall. Um, usually vintage malls are a little bit more pricey than like a Goodwill, but I really loved the picture. I loved all the colors. You don't really see that style painting or colors in like vintage woodland stuff. So it was kind of neat. I like it a lot. One of my favorite pieces of wall decor that I have. This, some people are like, why are you decorating with this stuff? <laughs> but I really love this. It goes along with my hunting style. It's a no trespassing sign. Usually these are like $60 at like a vintage mall. I think I paid eight bucks for this one. It's super cute. I like it, obviously. I got this for a dollar. It goes along with my duck theme stuff. I really like cattails. It reminds me of hunting. For a dollar, I was like, all right, I can do that. Easy. This I've had for a long time, but I wanted to show you guys. This is an old school shoe shining kit. I really like this because I keep this over by where we put our shoes when we come in and out of the house. And that's such an area in your house that really like can look really messy really quick. But adding a little bit of decor to that area I think has really made it look nice and just not so boring. And it's on the same shoe theme and it's really pretty. I used to use this kit to shine my duty boots. Um, sounds kind of funny. But yeah, I use this kit to shine my work boots and I just think it's pretty. Vintage text on there, it looks really nice. I probably paid $10 for this. All right, this I got over the weekend too. I usually don't buy stuff like this. You, you can find things like this at Goodwill all the time, but it was a dollar and I really like the text on there. It's very 70s to me. And it's got a little chip in the ear there. I thought if I hit it with like some white spray paint or something, it would be a really cute modern piece of decor. Um, maybe in the bathroom or something like that. This I got at a Goodwill as well. It is a enameled cast iron pan. If you do see cast iron at Goodwill or something, look up the back and try and see how old it is. Cause sometimes you can find pieces that are from like the 1800s or the early 1900s and they can one, be worth a lot of money. And two, they're just, they're just great pieces of cookware. It took me a long time to get on the cast iron bandwagon and I'm still trying to learn more about that. But it's so beautiful and, and it cooks so well and it lasts forever and you can hand it down to generations and so, I mean, I like the enamel because you don't have to season it. You do have to season the back. Um, I just thought it was pretty. So this I paid $2 for. Okay, this is one of my more favorite pieces that I have to show you guys. This I got at a vintage mall. And I paid, I think, $15 for this, which is a lot for me. But I really love Smokey the Bear. <laughs> I like the old vintage Smokey the Bear paintings or posters and this isn't Smokey the Bear but it really gave me that vibe. 
And what this is, is it's a light. You plug it in and inside here, there's a little fan. You can take this piece out, but there's a light bulb in there and you balance this on a little piece of metal that's in here. And the heat from the light bulb makes this spin and it creates shadows that makes this fire look like it's moving. And it is really, really cool and it gives a really nice ambiance. So I had to get this, I keep this by my bed and it's just beautiful. All right, what else we got? We got a whole table over here, guys. Can you see this? Woo! Okay, we'll move you over a little bit. All right, so I bought two Crocs this weekend. Um, I love Crocs, I think they're really pretty. I'm planning on making my own hot sauce with some of the peppers that I grew, and I wanted to ferment them in a crock. So I bought two of these. They were a dollar each. They were originally two bucks each, but it was half off, and I'm excited to use them. So one and two. These I got a while ago. I think I paid like $5 for, for them. They are old horn cups. It's really pretty. It's got like wood, like dowels that are keeping this bottom part in. Um, this wooden part and we've used them before as cups and they work great and they're beautiful and they're great decoration too This I also got over the weekend. This is a little I think it's a quail, but I thought it was a nice little decoration for a dollar goodwill All right, this I got this weekend. I think this is one of my favorite pieces that I got it is a nestling measurement set for cooking it's got the little measurements in here. So cute! And I just love it so much. I paid eight bucks, which is kind of a lot for me. And if I make cooking videos for you guys, I'm definitely using that set. Speaking of measuring cups, I also got this this weekend. It's starting to rain again. You'll probably be able to hear it. But I got this for two bucks. Um, and is a measuring set another one this one hangs on your wall and i thought it was really pretty this is some heavily glazed this one's a cup and then there's three more so four total little baby one you hang this on your wall it says measure i thought that was cute i'm excited to hang that up and use that I'll have to check if this one's a liquid. It looks like a liquid measuring cup and the other one looks like a, a dry measuring cup. So I'll have to see if the measurements are any different. But if you didn't know there was a difference, there is a difference between liquid measuring and uh, dry measuring. So you're not supposed to use the same measuring cups for them. They measure differently. Anyway, this I got a while ago. This you keep by your nightstand or on your nightstand. And I get parched in the middle of the night sometimes, so to keep a glass and some water by my nightstand all the time has been a lifesaver. And I think I paid $2 for this. All right, this I got from Goodwill. My mom bought it for me. I think we spent, or she spent like five bucks on it, maybe. No, I think $3. It is genuine copper it came with the instructions on how to care for copper i i totally killed my last tea kettle and i love copper it's just so beautiful um and i use this every single day and for less than five dollars definitely worth it um i also got candles each one of these was 1.99 so i paid four bucks for both of these which is if you're into buying candles you know that candles are super expensive for some reason and I never buy new candles because they're always really expensive but this I thought was pretty um, and it was brand new so I got that it smells like vanilla and it doesn't smell like the weird grandma smell that like if any of you ever go to Goodwill's and you smell the candles they always got this weird perfumey smell but this is a new candle it smells nice this is a apple pie candle also two dollars brand new smells really good and falls right around the corner so I'm excited to fallify my house huh. okie doke all right the rest of these things are gonna be kind of ducky this I got for a dollar at Goodwill handmade hand painted when I see stuff like this I just picture this like older gentleman 
old grandpa making this in his basement. You know, he was very good at it. He makes his wife little trinkets sometimes and he just made himself a little duck. And <laughs> like I kind of put these imaginary stories behind some of this stuff, but I keep it above my fireplace. Okay, I got this a couple weeks ago. Tell me whose grandma had one of these in their house. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like everybody's grandma had one of these. You put your nuts in here, <laughs> but mm, you can put candies or whatever. You look at it and you're definitely like, yeah, that's, that's vintage. Like that brings me back to my grandma's house. And that's kind of like quasi the vibe I like. I paid $2 for it and Terry painted it. So good job, Terry. I paid five dollars for this. I put a candle in it. I don't know what else you could possibly use it for. Probably maybe like fruit or something. I don't know. I, it looks like a candle holder to me. But it's got all the ducks going around in a circle. I like it. And I had a I have a set of duck decoys here. I've had these for a while. I just wanted to show you guys my ducks. I'm not sure how much I paid for these. I probably paid five dollars a piece um, but they're they're cute they have the old anchors on them um, I just think they're really pretty there's a hen and a drake and is there a price on here nope again the hunting vibe I got one last thing to show you guys okay. this I got it a vintage store as well. They are supposed to look like cattails and the reeds and I keep a decoy right on here and I think it just adds some interest rather than me just having duck decoys all over my house. It just gives a little bit more interest to the decoration. This was handmade by I believe the Oneida Nation tribe. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. I paid probably eight dollars for this. Those are some of my most recent and most favorite thrifting finds. Do you like to thrift? If you do, let me know downstairs. <laughs> I just said, let me know downstairs. <laughs> let me know down in the comments if you like to go thrifting. Let me know what some of your favorite finds have been. Um, and tell me what your favorite piece was that I showed you. If you like that style too, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love spending time with you guys. These videos have been so much fun to make. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It really encourages me to keep making more videos. If this inspired you to go thrifting, go find some good stuff and uh, let me know what you get, all right? We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.